Well, everybody, today is a very interesting day because Powerful Titans have just revealed their next big update, which is the Pounce update. This is coming soon. They haven't actually specified a release date for it just yet, so one can assume it's, you know, within the next couple of weeks or something like that. Maybe we'll get a release date soon. That being said, they also announced this while I was asleep. Matt, I'm watching you. You done this with that Team Deathmatch game mode testing and then messaged me after saying, sorry about it being while you were asleep. You know what you're doing, mister. You cheeky goose. Anyways, let's give a reaction to this trailer. Then we're going to break down what's to be in it. And then in a future video, I'm going to try and give a full breadth overview. That'll probably be out on Monday. Um, and then we're going to break down some dev comments as well uh, that Matt has been talking in the community server about this update and some other content to the game regarding like Hatsigopteryx and stuff like that. So let's get to the trailer reaction. I haven't seen this one yet, so I'm very excited. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. It's like you're... Hey, yo, it's the derpy bugger. Look at him. Oh, my God, that is... <laughs> I love its big eyes and its big, long snout. They actually have made it derpy. They've made it how it's depicted. Oh, that's great. I love it. So, it looks like we now know there's a playable in this one. We... Well, I think it was probably confirmed. Uranosaurus. The sun brought light to a land cloaked in darkness. And plagued by shadows and night. Yet as the light bled into the cracks of the surface. What the f why is this so cinematic? What's going on here? <laughs> the narration's on point. The, the 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 video itself is fantastic. Jesus, hats off to whoever made this one. That is incredible. Some escaped her shine. It's a very bright fan over there. Some with a thirst for blood. Oh no! Remained. A thirst that could only be quenched by one to withstand her challenge. One born in the fires of the night. One that hunts for vengeance. Well, that actually confirms something, I think. Unless Alberta Ceratops already had the area of effect attack. It did, didn't it? That's already on the live branch. So never mind. It doesn't actually confirm that. What I was assuming is that was a hint towards the fact that the content that's on the PTB is coming to the main branch. All them abilities and all that. But that doesn't really confirm it. So we're going to see if that there's anything that does. Will forever haunt her chosen. Holy, this is giving me goosebumps. Her taken, her initiator. For I do wonder, right? Is that the Alberta Ceratops that lost its baby in the Night Stalkers video? Because obviously that happened, and we've got the same Alberta Ceratops skin prodding around, defending a baby. Maybe. That'll be some insanely good continuity. Her rumours spread across the lands, shifting the tides of nature. That As was a really one, nice transition. What the hell? She those within the light to rise. Fight the flame. That is such a nice skin. Change the laws of the jungle. This is such a good bloody trailer. What the hell? What? The music and everything. This is great. New combat abilities. Okay, so that means it should indicate, obviously, Pounce and Latch and all that. But I'm also thinking maybe the new ones are on the public test branch as well. The grab! Oh, no, the baby! No! Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, that does confirm it. So Rex didn't have an area of effect attack before. So that pretty much confirms the attacks that are on the public test branch or the, the breadth of them are coming to uh, the main branch of the game. So that means we're going to expect to see pretty much all of what's on the public test branch. That could include the music system as well. I haven't seen the dev blog just yet, so I'm just assuming. 
obviously the pants. Hell yeah. Still can ride the Velocidromies. Oh, this is so cool. The Ichthyosaur. I'll tell you what, as a videographer and someone who makes videos, I really wish one day I had the skills to be able to do this because it is so good. Like, this is just such a good trailer. I do apologize for pausing it all the time. Oh, this is just so cool. Okay. Oh, it's the Alberta again. He's not injured, is he? What's going on? There's two Albertas. The champion ascended into myth. Oh no, that's okay. A lot more herbivores. Oh my god, this is so cool. The sun's blessing. There's a baby. It's like, uh, five, is it 500? I can't, I can't it's something like that, right? No! The baby! Oh, wait, what? I was, oh my god! Oh, that's actually... That's so sad. Don't kill the baby. <laughs> this is giving me goose... Oh my god. And everyone it just stops. Mercy. Ending the bloodshed. Jesus. That is. That's brought a tear to my eyes. What the fuck? Oh, that was such a... Why Why did they end it like that? Why did they end it like that? And we're on an advert now anyways. Why did they end it like that? Just like ended it just... Ding! <laughs> oh god, I was expecting a Path of Titans logo or something, but wow. That is such a good trailer. Okay, that's incredible. So we know Uranosaurus is coming to the game. Uh, we know all the abilities from the public test branch, pounce, grab, all that's coming to the game. Let's now dive into the other stuff on the dev blog and talk about that. Um... That was the trailer yet. Jesus. That's made me tear up a little bit. That's that was They saved the baby. Oh my god. Okay, anyways, let's check out the uh the dev blog and see what's cracking in this brand new update. So everybody, here we are on the dev blog page, and I gotta say the art for this is absolutely incredible. It's the thumbnail art as well, so it does confirm we're getting a new Ichthyosaur, which is Urinosaurus, and that's coming to the game. We also have some other big features that are coming to the game as well, with Raptor, Pounce, and Latch. So that's the ability whereby you can pounce onto something and latch onto the side of them. That's all one ability. We've tested and seen it before, which is quite interesting. They only needed to do one test, and that was that. That being said, they do say this will be a game changer. Well, yes, it, it will. We have seen that one, but it's going to be very exciting to see in game with everyone being able to do it. Next, we get the Sarcosuchus grab with a new grabbing mechanic with that new attack called clamp. Now, once again, I'm going to go over this in more detail in a bigger video on Monday. This is obviously just going to be a brief overview. Then we get Urinosaurus, which is a brand new creature coming to the game. And here it is. An absolute beauty. Urinosaurus is gonna have 11 new abilities. And it's gonna be very fast apparently, which is gonna be quite interesting. This is, as they said, a real life Leviathan. So maybe it's gonna be bigger than Kaiwekia. Um, 
that would be quite interesting. But that being said, 11 new abilities, that includes metabolisms, hides, bites, uh, sensors maybe, uh, and obviously the flipper stuff to make you go faster and stuff like that. So there might not be a huge breadth of things here, but 11 sounds decent. You've probably got two metabolisms, one hide, uh, maybe one or two attacks, like maybe a bite attack and another bite attack, I don't know, maybe a sense as well, so that'll be six there. You'll have probably one that allows you to leap out of the water, a dart that makes you go a bit faster in the water to evade prey, so that's another two, and then maybe a beach coma, that one will be that as well. So yeah, it's likely that we're gonna be expecting a, a fair mix of abilities there, but 11, like I said, is going to be an interesting one to properly gauge. That being said, we do have some other stuff coming. The dynamic music system is finally coming to the game. That's very exciting to see. So I'm, I'm excited for that one. I, I did confirm in my video while I was doing predictions that it was one of those things where I thought it was coming soon. And then it did come soon. Uh, well, they, obviously it is now. But that being said... Yeah, the other thing that's finally coming in this update is we will be getting new abilities across the roster's dinosaurs and other quality of life updates. So this probably is to do with all the stuff that's on the public test branch minus the team deathmatch game mode. So that's an interesting one as well. We're not seeing the team deathmatch game mode despite those tests heating up. What we could see, right? This could be it, right? The update is not coming out on Halloween, but... It's highly likely that we will probably see some form of announcement release date for the update soon because they said it's coming soon, maybe on Halloween, maybe in a couple of days time. And when that happens, I'll be sure to tell you everything you need to know about that release date and the update itself. But yeah, I'm super excited for this one. That Uranosaurus looks so, so nice. I love those skins. There we go. That's two other skins. Well, that's not two. That's one with different variations. I love its face. It's so derpy. But yeah, that is the latest Path of Titans update that's coming soon. Be sure to let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Were you expecting more? Were you expecting less? When do you think it's going to release? And uh, yeah, stay tuned. On Monday, I'll be releasing a full overview of what is to be expected in this update. And we can talk about and break it down that way. And then going forward, we'll do some other videos as well. Because apparently there's some dev comments about Hatsigopteryx and stuff like that that I need to have a look into. So uh, yeah, and as soon as the release date comes out, I'll be sure to announce it to you all. Let me know what you thought. That trailer got me a little bit emotional. <laughs> Fucking, that Alberta Ceratops, man. That Alberta Ceratops. Cheeky sword. Anyways, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you think. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. Peace.